One thing I'd like to touch on real quick is the fact that you can actually change the borders of your text area and text input components and a lot of other components for that matter but we're just going to change these borders to just show you that you can and how to do it. So let's get started. I'm going to go after the embed fonts true line in my action script where I've been applying last lines of code. I'm going to press enter. And now when you're customizing a border there are several different ways to do it. The quickest way to do it is to do it individually if you just have three of them. I'm just going to demonstrate it like this now so it's quick for you. But if you want to learn how to apply it to multiple instances at the same time, go into the help menu and search for rect box class. That's R E C T B O X class. And there you can find how to change all of your components' backgrounds at the same time. So let's just change them one at a time. I'm going to click insert target path. I'm just going to go to my MC underscore form movie clip. And I'm going to select TXT underscore comments. I'm going to click absolute just to be safe there and press OK. And type dot set style. Open parenthesis. Open quote. And type border style. Close quote comma, space, open quote, alert, close quote, close parenthesis, semicolon. Let's test the movie and see what happened. So notice the cool style that the comments box has. It's kind of a blue outline with a rounded edge and it's got a little drop shadow behind it. It's pretty cool. And so if we want to apply it to everything, you could just actually copy this line of code and paste it. Then we just change the instance name from txt underscore comments, txt underscore name, and txt underscore email. So now when I test the movie, they all have that cool style. There are several different other styles that you could try out. One's called default. That isn't really the default style. <laughs> so that's cool. So, uh, very similar to this, except it's not colored with the halo color theme. And there's one more I want to show called drop down that's kind of cool. And so that one kind of has like a gradient. If you notice, it's lighter on this side, darker on this side. I probably wouldn't use that one for this. My favorite personally is alert. If you want to know all the different ones, just do a search in the help menu under border style. So there you have it. And there are some cool tips for styling your components. I hope you learned a lot.